GAC Motor has made quite a name for itself for producing some of the coolest looking crossovers in the market. There's a new GS3 M Zoom and the GAC M Coup. But did you know you can also buy a CRV sized crossover from GAC that costs around the same as a top of the line Honda City? And it's this, the GAC GS4. This generation of the GS4 comes from the brand's Trumpchi division and was first produced in 2019. It's a more budget friendly model and has simpler features like this gray grill, no excessive lights, but you do get LED headlights with LED daytime running lights. Down the side, you have these 17 inch alloy wheels with 225 60 series tires. And the side profile is very simple and still quite handsome. You have this nice chrome strip running down the whole length of the car, leading the eye to this shorter window. You also have these roof rails for added utility and a minimal amount of matte black plastic to keep your paint from getting damaged. The rear end of the GS4 perhaps best exemplifies the more traditional approach that this crossover has over the M Coup and the GS3 M Zoom. You have a lightly raked rear window with this tailgate spoiler here, a large chrome strip running across this part of the tailgate, and these wraparound LED taillights. It's not ugly, but it's not exactly a standout either. Under the hood is a 1.5 liter twin cam, 16 valve inline four engine with a turbocharger pumping out 166 horsepower and 265 newton meters of torque. Unlike its siblings, the GS4 doesn't have a dual clutch transmission. Instead, it has a standard six speed automatic from Isin. And for those who know Isin, that is a Japanese manufacturer that works with Toyota. Inside, the GS4 is still fairly conventional, but it's not boring. You do have this nice two tone interior that is tan and black. And unlike most subcompact sedans of this price range, you have these nice soft touch materials all around. Although I wish the leather that they used was a bit more supple. You also get a very responsive touchscreen infotainment system that plays everything with your radio and even has Apple CarPlay. Android Auto sadly, not available. In addition, the GS4 has one of the strongest air conditioning systems I've ever used. This fan is sensational and this dual zone climate control system can give you hypothermia. There's also lots of space to put your things here, even within this gigantic center console. And of course, the generous glove compartment. And for 1,160,000 pesos, you sure get a lot of room in the back of the GS4. And you get lots of toys like this electric moonroof. You don't even get that in the top of the line Vios. There's also things like this rear air conditioning vent and this center armrest with cup holders. So sitting three in the back is actually quite nice. And because this is a compact crossover, you get huge amounts of room to carry all sorts of things. I just wish that the second row seat folded flat. All right, we've already checked out the GS4's features. Let's go for a drive. Right, we're behind the wheel of the GAC GS4 and for its price range, there's certainly a lot of stuff that you get. You have clear instrumentation, this touchscreen infotainment system, and of course the turbocharged engine means you get a lot of poke. Although I must say this six-speed automatic, although very smooth and smoother compared to the dual clutch transmissions of other GACs, the final drive is a bit too high for my taste, so acceleration does take quite a while. The steering is light and it is adjustable actually, but even in the heaviest sports setting, I find it a little too numb. Braking action is good, but the pedal a bit spongy. The throttle response, of course, is controlled with various modes. You have Eco, Normal, and Sport. The nice thing about this Eco mode is that it changes the shift point of the transmission and it changes much earlier. This turbocharged engine is perfectly happy changing gear at 2,000 RPM. And that does help with the fuel economy. This car gets 10 to 13 in the city and 15 to 18 kilometers per liter on the highway, which I think is quite impressive for a car of this size. Another thing, the springs are quite stiff. They kind of remind me of street coilovers, although the dampers do need a little more work as I shall now demonstrate here as we go over this little crest bit too wobbly for my taste. Although because of this stiff suspension, um, body roll is reasonably fine for a car of this size. A Honda CRV is definitely more comfortable. The driving experience as a whole is very relaxing, although I wish this driver's seat had a bit more support. And you know, it's very smooth actually this car. 
compared to a subcompact sedan, it feels substantial. It feels big. And then again, it is big. You don't feel like you're a little car on the road. Overall, the driving experience is creamy, smooth, and relaxing. The GS3 M Zoom and the M Coup may have better driving dynamics, but if you just want a car that takes you from A to B in reasonable comfort and considerable size for its price, then the GS4 actually is quite a good package indeed. So the GAC GS4 holds a rather special part in the GAC Motor Philippines lineup. It is a roomy car. It's as big as a CRV. It has plenty of passenger space and cargo space, but it only costs as much as a top-of-the-line subcompact sedan. It's also very economical, nice to drive, and reasonably handsome for the price. Do you think it's a worthy alternative to a subcompact sedan? I think so. Did you enjoy this review? Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And also, like us on Facebook and follow us on TikTok and Instagram. I'm VJ Bakungan and I hope you always have a fun trip. See you around.